Hey, welcome. This is Don Donatello Kryptonium. I've been trying to record the video about Cosmos ecosystem in last few days, but after recording, I gave up. I gave up because I don't feel it. But today I'm going to have a conversation with you about permissionless blockchains versus permissioned, which we are going to look at the approach of Ethereum. We are going to look at the approach of Solano and some other permissionless blockchain versus some of the permissioned blockchains of Cosmos, which really stop the growth of adoption, despite what you might believe. And before we start, hey, love, like, and share. It's very important for, for this video. So precisely, I'm going to discuss uh, osmosis, you know. Uh, so I'm talking about osmosis uh, because it's still the largest DEX in Cosmos. And it's also a blockchain. It's valued higher. I think it's still having higher valuation than Radium, despite generating 30 times less in fees. How is that situation? So I look at, at Osmosis and don't take it personally. Don't take it as, hey, don't Kryptonium is fadding. How dare he say Osmosis has too high of the valuation despite it prints a $500 monthly in fees. How dare he? I'm trying to just, just give you an example. I'm trying just to compare. This is, uh, this is real. You know, so so when you look at the radium, and I understand radium is not a blockchain. Radium is just a, a DEX, only DEX, a smart contract on Solana, right? On Solana, market hub, 410. And if we will look at Osmo, you know, market cap, what's the Osmo market cap? 405. So radium is, is now slightly higher. But yeah, radium generates way more fees despite Osmosis being a blockchain, but it's permission blockchain. So also the, the number of apps on Osmosis is, is not actually that, that great and it can probably tap to the wider market. And, and about that, I want, to, I want to discuss it because I feel Cosmos Dev Cells will instead of making the product that wins, instead of making the product that takes own on its own life, they would rather be protectionists and ride the blockchain to zero. I'm afraid this is what happening in Cosmos and this is why I'm discussing um, about this today. We, we will do more comparison, right? Because maybe you say, hey, that's not true what you say about revenues, but let's see Radium. If I do radium revenues, yeah, let's use def DeFi Lama. Radium revenues, uh, radium fees should be this one. And then we do osmosis dex revenues, yeah. So check this out. We are going to see can, can we do monthly radium generated over 40 million in March 20. Two and a half million um April, 16 million in May, and already for the half of the month, uh 12 million. And if you look at osmosis, then they do it difficult to osmosis, yeah. Uh is it here? Man, I was I was checking this. Why why it's done so difficult? Maybe it's this one. It's this one for sure. So when you look monthly. At Osmazes, where is March? 1.5 million for March, almost 30 times less than Radium. 850k only in April, and only 500k in May, over 30 times less than Radium. Okay? When you look at the volumes, well, they're not even listed here, is it? Are they here? Why is it not here? When you look at the Ethereum, top volume pairs, Right, 65 million, 30 million. Ethereum is much bigger though. Solana though, same situation, very high. Let's go to Osmosis. You know, I'm, I'm looking at the pools and we check the top volumes here. Well, I was just checking here. Stable coin, stable coin. So this is arbitrage. What is this music? Someone there. Uh, Osmosis USDC, 
maybe also arbitrage, but you see there is only four pairs with over one million dollar of the volume and there is no meme coin here. All of those coins are like an I'm I'm not hating on osmosis. I'm actually trying to be once again. I I keep trying to have to excuse myself, but I'm trying to speak the sense into the cosmos vessels. And sometimes this is really difficult. So you know all of these coins, like large layer ones, uh, with stable coin pairs, a lot of bots, a lot of arbitrage ongoing. But if you go to radium, if you go to the standard curve. And go to the 24-hour volume. Well, it's it's much higher than the deck screen will show us. Uh, 100, almost 150 million here. 60, almost 60 million here. All of those are meme coins generating a lot of fees. And you can see the APR of the fees is absolutely ridiculous. Even if you go concentrated, you know, also massive volumes. Uh, 36 millions on Solana, USDC, and so on. Of course, Solana is much bigger. Um, Solana is much bigger blockchain, you know, but the adoption is much bigger. I was thinking, what is this adoption, you know? And I'm thinking of all of these times when Cosmos Dev Cells were like, ha, 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 Solana halted again and our blockchain is running. But you need to understand, if you don't have smart contracts deployed on your blockchain, it will not hold. So. Is the risk of being halted by let but letting anyone to deploy the contracts easily, quickly, worth it? And and I think it, it is worth it. And I notice the trend, and even when I speak to many people, um so so what is permission for those who don't know to deploy contracts on osmosis you actually have to go to the governance i believe you even have to start first on the forum to respect the rules of the governance you you deploy like for example let's let's imagine you deploy a shitcoin deployment yeah you build something that will generate a lot of fees and so on and then you have to write a post an essay on osmosis forum so the cosmos dev cells can go and say that seems like something that can provide the value to our blockchain it does make sense the other person we already have the app of this type I'm not sure how should I vote. And then after, so, so after six months of the hard work on your applications, you had to go and write an essay on the forum. And then you are going into the blockchain and then people vote if you have right to deploy your smart contracts on Osmosis blockchain or not. Or you can build directly on Solana and just deploy it without writing without trying to please the dev cells, you know? And I'm not saying that the smart contracts are getting declined, maybe it's a small chance, but do you really think that people will be bothered to deploy the apps on your blockchains if they, they if, if that's the process, if you permission them? Sometimes they will be fearing if the months of work will go to nothing because you have to go through the governance. And, and that's probably like, you know, Neutron is, um, is per permissionless, so probably they will get a lot of the the market share if if Osmosis uh will will not change, and I'm I'm speaking of this because I believe permission blockchains, um the permissionless sorry, how Im imagine you have some really really great app dropping with the token with the tokens and so on, there might be a lot of hype a lot of volumes being generated and so on. Um, you can have competing uh, projects and competing apps, for example, but it's not in the best interest of the certain cartel who invest into certain apps because they are incentivized to protect their own apps. So if you have a lot of people that are validators who are involved in these other projects, they might actually make it difficult for your project, right? So this is the volume is pretty good here. So, 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 so on these pairs. Not many coins. You have Osmosis, you have Injective, you have Atom, you have Tia, and you have Akash. And that's pretty much in also Bitcoin and, and Ethereum. And, and this is pretty much it when it comes to, to, to high volume pairs. But when you look at the top liquidity, you have dead liquidity, right? So Osmosis will be very proud of 
having like a lot of liquidity but just check how much of that you know this is not that one this is like just like not not popular but when you look at the st pairs this is dead liquidity look at the uh, liquidity of ST Osmo and Osmo with eight million dollars of liquidity has four thousand volume. This is dead liquidity. No one trades this pair, but people like Johnny Golty and others will go to the Cosmos forums and say this is needed. You absolutely need to deepen liquidity for the safety of your assets. Hence, you need to use the stride. You know, and. Uh, I'm I'm not sure exactly what's the number of ST Atom that went through the stride as the result of community vote, but if it's ten million dollars, let's round the APR to like twenty percent, okay? Um, the the stride is getting close to two hundred k of doing nothing, you know, sponsored for from community pool and deploying liquidity that nobody needs, also taking away the yield from the retail, right? Same situation here with ST Osmo, you know, this too, you know, sorry, that wasn't ST Atom, ST Atom is here. The same situation with ST Osmo. So I, I do think for Osmosis it's really very important to go permissionless, to take away uh, the cartel control uh, from Osmosis, because those, those things I do believe will uh, drag Osmosis down. And I'm very surprised that no one really tried to address that. Right, I'm very surprised that the founder, uh, Sunny, and anyone in question don't really address those issues of dead liquidity and and pointless build up of liquidity on osmosis. You know, because this is this is rather negative, but they always will come and excuse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is positive. You know, they will they will support the applications uh, that don't work that are that are fraudulent. Uh, but they will stay silent. And, um, you know, retail retail sees that. If you are Cosmos DevSales, if I'm talking to you right now, the retail really sees that. And, and you can see the vibe shift really change. The people don't want to do and exist on these chains and apps because they see it's a big nonsense. You're pushing the retail away. But maybe your next DAO funding from community pool will onboard the next million of users. And with that, don't Kryptonium miss out. Till the next time, thank you for watching this episode of Kryptonium Wisdom, sponsored, sponsored by the Kryptonium Maker NFT that was just dumped because people farmed the unicorn airdrop and then they sold um, Kryptonium Maker collections. Really disappointing behavior of the of the kryptonium disciples but i understand they were not true kryptoniums with that kryptoniums out till the next time